Hi, this is a tutorial video uh, concerning creating fillable forms um, and we'll be doing this in OpenOffice. This is the third video. We're creating fillable forms for PDFs and um, uh, as I said this is the third video so you can see that this is the same page we used in the previous two videos and we created text boxes, uh, check boxes, and different things like that. Uh, the question came up, when I make check boxes, how do I make sure that they line up? Uh, how do I know that they're um, not going to be, one's going to be a little to the left and one's going to be a little to the right? Well, we're going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, if you're design mode, and we're going over here to the form controls, if your design mode is off, then you won't be able to change anything. All you can do is test your text boxes and your check boxes and that sort of thing. So we're going to turn design mode on and now we can start creating things and make changes. What we're going to do to make sure that our check boxes are justified or all the way to the left or centered or whatever you want it to be, we're going to go up here to insert and a menu comes up when we click that. We're going to go down to frame. What we're going to do is insert a frame into this document. What that's going to do is, uh, just like the name implies, it's going to frame everything that you're going to put within it. And it is going to hold everything together. So it's not floating everywhere. We have it all set up in, um, in a certain area. And it looks nice and neat. So what I'm going to do is, instead of changing anything here, except for borders, I don't want any borders on my frame. I want it to be invisible so no one can see my tricks. And then I'm going to go to OK. So what I did was I went to borders on top here, went to none, so that there would not be any lines around my frame box. And then I hit OK, and you'll see a little box appears. And I can move that anywhere I want by holding down the left click button and uh, moving the box around and then I can also resize it. So I'm resizing it to the way I'd like and unlike this box on the left when I'm done it will be pretty much invisible. The box will but the effect it will have on my check boxes will not be. So right now we have our frame now we're going to insert different items. Let's start with a text box. We're going to insert a text box in here and you'll see that it automatically justifies itself. Puts itself um, to the left side of it. So we have a text box. Let's put a check box. So what we did was we went to our form controls. We choose checks, check box like we did in previous videos. And we're going to put one, whoops, don't mean to move that around. We're going to checkbox. We're going to put one in here. We've got a checkbox. Let's put another one in there so we can line them up. Another one and yet another one. Okay, so we've got three in there. And finally, let's put a text box to end this up. So, as you can tell, and I don't know if you can, but everything's lined up to the left. I don't have to move it around and kind of eyeball it and say, well, that looks about right this is right. It doesn't um, need me to justify it or move it around. The frame does that for me. So now I've got everything lined up. Let's test this. So the way to test it, as you remember from the last video, is you're going to turn off design mode. We turned it off. Now I can go in here and type into the box. This is the first text box. I can check off my check boxes or uncheck them. I can type into the la second one. This is the second one. And you can see everything seems to work. So now, uh, for the end of this video, what we're going to do is, when you're all said and done, in Open Office, if you want to make a PDF, you're going to go to File. Say you're all set up, you're done with your document, you want to send it out and have people start filling it out. 
you're going to export it as a PDF. You're going to go up here to File, say Export as a PDF, and we're going to go to Export. We don't want to make too many changes. If you don't understand what these changes are, you could screw things up a little bit. So just leave those things alone. Hit Export, and we're just going to go to Desktop, and we're going to say Test, Save, and let's open that up. So I've opened up my PDF document and we can take a look and see how it turned out. My text box looks like it works fine. My multiple line text box it's working fine. Wrapping like it's supposed to. Check boxes they check off and this is where we had our frame. And you can see there's no box all the way around the frame. Uh, but everything's lined up the way it needs to be. And I can change the wording in here if I'd like. And uncheck things, check them off. So uh, the test turned out well. So this was the third video in creating a fillable PDF. Uh, we'll have one more that'll kind of clean things up show uh, different options that you can do. But for now, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.